Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I am here with the best cases of the month for April 2014. Now, as far as cases go, it's all down to personal opinion and uh, you know what you would be using them for. Um, because you know, if you're gonna be do like, if you're gonna be doing like heavy editing, you really don't want a mini ITX case. Uh, you'd be much better off going for like a full size tower, just something that you could upgrade and get as fast render times as possible, and things like that. For gaming, you could definitely go with a mini ITX rig if you want to use it as like a console replacement or something like that. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. For the first case, I actually did decide to go with a mini ITX case. This is the Fractal Design Node 304. Um, I love this case in all honesty just because it's it's a mini ITX case and surprisingly for its form factor you can actually fit I believe it's like seven drives in here or six drives or something um, because they've got like really nice or really cool um, drive storage bays in the front of the case and yeah it's actually even for a mini ITX case this case is incredibly small um, but people have managed to fit you know pretty much full size graphics cards in here you know like your R7260s or R9260s or R9270s or whatever else um, and it's a great case in all honesty I think it looks good but as I said before that's all down to personal opinion so yeah for the second case I wanted the micro ATX case is the Corsair Obsidian 350D again micro ATX case um, it's very solid build quality that's one of the main reasons why I like this case so much uh, plus it looks great besides that there's nothing too special about it uh, just the quality of the material is amazing on this case. As I say in a lot of my videos with the Corsair Obsidian series, I, it wouldn't even take much of a dent if you hit it with a sledgehammer. So yeah, I don't recommend trying that. Don't try it at home, kids. But yeah, for the third case, I went with a full-size tower case. Or not full tower, but, you know, mid-tower. NZXT H440. This is a great case for a couple of reasons. It doesn't have any optical drives or optical bays. First off, so it gets rid of all the five and a quarter inch bays, so you won't be able to put, uh, you know, DVD drives or like OC tuning panels on the front or like fan control PWM panels on the front or anything like that, um, which most people don't generally need anyway. I don't know why most cases even have like six of those. I've seen cases with six of those before, and I don't know why. Like, I have two, or no, I've, I've got like three or four on my case, and I've only used one, so I, I don't really need it. But yeah, moving on to the fourth case, I'm going to be Fractal Design Define R4. Now, if you do need those optical drives, this will probably be the case for you, as uh, compared to the NZXT H440, it's almost the same in that they're both super quiet, good-looking cases. Um... Except this one obviously has optical drives, and they both look a bit different. So that, there's really not much difference between these two cases, uh, besides aesthetics and optical drives. So yeah, for the last case, I'm going to be Corsair 650D. Again, this is a mid-tower case. Um, solid build quality, basically the same thing as the 350D that I mentioned earlier, except scaled up. Again, it has optical drives, it has a bunch of disk drives, great build quality. Uh, you can get it in a window, same with the 350D, you can get both of those in a windowed version. Um, yeah, not much more I could say there. So yeah, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new here. I post content every other day. Thanks for watching, and peace.